Uh, hi, this is Abe from Movies with Abe. I'm very excited to be here today talking to Claire Dunn and Harriet Walter for the movie Herself. Uh, how are you both doing today? Good, great. Right. Right. Nice to see you. Like mm -hmm. your sunshine. Oh, thank you, yes. Um, I saw uh, Herself at Sundance almost a year ago, uh, and it's still one of my favorite films of the year. Uh, the story was so creative and it's unlike uh, what I've seen before, starting from such a frightening place and then turning into something so inspiring. Um, and Claire, I know that in addition to being the star, you're the co-writer. I'm curious where the idea for this film came from. Uh, it came from a friend uh, who's a single mother with three kids and she literally was in a similar situation, but not, not the, the violent bit, just the I need a house bit. And um, so she just had nowhere to move to and had to go into temporary accommodation for a bit. And um, just that process was so hard and really tough on her and the kids living in one room. I was really angry about that, that whole situation. And I started fantasizing that she could build a house for herself if, if she could just find the land. And, you know, I was Googling self-build and um, cheap and things like that online. And I found Dominic Stevens, this Irish architect who had designed a house for himself for 25,000 euro. And kind of once I knew it could be done, something flashed into my brain and it was like the story of a woman that chooses to help herself and therefore the right kind of help comes in. She builds a new life for herself. She completely transforms her whole existence. And, um, and that was where it came from. That's great. And so you give a very emotional performance as a, sort of a fiercely loyal mother and of course, a victim of domestic violence. What kind of research did you do for the role and what surprised you during that, that process? Uh, first of all, I just spoke to, well, I accidentally spoke to a woman that had been through it before. And the first thing she said to me was like, you're doing a film about uh, us. Could you just show one where she's not such a victim? And when she moves on from this, <laughs> she goes, there's no stories about that. There's absolutely no stories out there about this battered woman archetype and, and, and how she actually gets on with her life and moves on. So that was my main thing that not just surprised me, but was then my kind of mission and my calling card it was like, okay, these women are brave when they stay and they're brave when they leave. Um, and then I just went onwards to research with women's aid and family lawyers and psychiatrists, et cetera. Uh, read a lot of books and realized that they're almost like soldiers from a war front with PTSD. And they've been so gaslit that they have to remap like neural pathways in their brains and learn how to live again. And that was so fascinating to me. And also the notion that community and people just forming a bit of safety around that person can completely rehabilitate them and make them feel safe again and become who they truly are. Speaking of that community, Harriet, you play someone uh, very supportive and generous here, which is uh, very unlike the roles in which American audiences have seen you recently uh, on <laughs> Succession and Killing Eve. Uh, and so I'm curious how you would describe Peggy and what did you connect with most uh, about her? Well, I really like that about her because um, I, I love the roles that you've mentioned. They are really good fun, but sometimes <laughs> I get less well-written offers um, um, of people who are just plain nasty. And I don't spiritually want to inhabit or live with those people. And I don't really, unless the story um, is, is overall a, a very positive one, I don't really want to depict that. Um, I'm not one of these people who loves playing evil people better than they like playing good people. I like <laughs> playing real people. And um, what I loved about Peggy is that she's real. Um, she's got some downsides and some good sides. And um, I, I suppose what I liked about her was that she, I don't think she is a saint. I think she gets a lot back from, from her generosity that, that you state. I also think that there's a whole spectrum of female characters in the film, including um, you know, the mother, the mother-in-law who confesses in the bedroom when at the end that, um, you know, she, she's been passively allowing this kind of behavior to, but from her own husband to be an example to her son. And that's what he grew up around. And, you know, you suddenly realize that this happens in all sorts of um, age groups, classes. I, I mean, there's a hint that Peggy's own husband drank too much and we don't know whether that led to some bad behavior. Just, you know, there's a feeling that across the classes, across the generations, this is um, something that women understand and, um, and, and want to help one another with. And 
So I didn't want to make her sweet, 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 but I wanted to show that behind people who you think are maybe a little bit tricky or, you know, prickly, there are, the, the, more than anything, I wanted to show that people still grow uh, in old age. You know, they, they do change and they shift and they change their minds. And um, that's really what I like. Great. Um, Amazon Studios will release herself in select theaters on December 30th and on Prime Video on January 8th. Thank you very much uh, both for talking to me today and good luck. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. Thanks.